Where can you find a museum filled with names of women pilots, astronauts, flight attendants, and hot air balloonists? There is only one such place that incorporates all women in flight, and it is right here in Cleveland. To get us up to speed is Heather Alexander, Executive Director of the International Women's Air and Space Museum. Wow, there's so much history to talk about <laughs> daredevils, and it's at Lake Burke, uh, Burke Lake Frog Airport? That's right, Lori. So we, uh, we're, we're very excited to, um, this is our 20th year at Burke Lake Front uh, Airport. It's actually our 42nd anniversary overall, and we're very excited about that. How did the museum begin? So the museum was founded in 1976 by a group of women who saw a need to preserve their history and their memorabilia and their achievements. Um, they had originally been part of an organization called the 99s when the first president, uh, elected president of that organization was Amelia Earhart. Oh boy, so history going so way, way back, back, way right. back when. Right. So what are we going to find at the International Women's Air and Space Museum? A little bit of everything. So we are the only place in the world that uh, preserves the history of women in all aspects of aviation and aerospace. We have information and artifacts in over 6,000 women. And we have permanent displays on Amelia Earhart, Bessie Coleman, the Mercury 13, and we have rotating displays that we change out every year. We also have a research center that is utilized by researchers around the world doing films, books, um, and even high school and grade school girls or students doing uh, book reports. So we. We have wow. it open to everybody. So research yep. and information. So um, we've got something here on the table. So yes. tell us about this jacket. So this is a new exhibit. We just received this at the museum from Pamela Melroy. She's a retired astronaut. She flew on three missions. Two of them she was pilot for. The third one she was the commander for. She was the second female commander for a space shuttle mission. And we will be putting this display up in the next uh, couple of, of months. We're working on that right now. All right piece of history right it here, is, right in front is. of us. So, <laughs> what have been the reactions to this museum? It's, um, we have a lot of great stories and people don't realize it. We have a lot of students that actually come in, young girls that still unbelievably in this day and age don't realize that women can be pilots. And so it's really interesting to see that uh, reaction in the young people. We have a lot of older folks and adults that come in that have no idea of the history that was being made during their time period. And so we like to share what was what was going on then. Um, we do focus on, we have an exhibit on the Women Air Force Service Pilots, uh, also known as the WASP, and there's a lot of people that don't realize that there were women flying during World War II. No, I didn't realize so, that. Yeah. So you got something coming up, a special event, Dinner with a Slice of History. Right, so this is our fourth, um, we do four of these a year. It's funded in part by the cultural uh, arts and culture grant, um, Cuyahoga Arts and Culture Grant. Um, this one is featuring the women Air Force Service pilots that we just mentioned. Uh, Sarah Rickman is an author and historian and she will be coming in from Colorado to share their story with us. She's written many, many books and it's going to be a great event. Wow. And then in May you have Family Day where the whole family can come yes. out. So this is a great event to bring the kids, the grandkids down. It's, it's aimed at kids but we really do see a lot of the adults doing all the activities Having and crafts as well. Fun. <laughs> right. So we do fill the whole airport with all sorts of games, activities, crafts. The fire truck comes over, the police helicopter comes over. We team up with NASA, the USS COD, and a, a host of other local organizations to really put on a great event that is free uh, for, for the family to come down. Great to bring the grandkids down. Wow. So dinner and family days, and you have even more events, right? We do. So we have an outreach program that we can go out to senior homes, libraries, schools. We do offer box lunch tours uh, and just straight tours, which is great for a lot of organizations. Uh, a lot of senior groups come in, nursing homes, um, book clubs, church groups, you name it, we've, we've got a, a program for it. And we have a lot of kids programs as well. And we also have a wine tasting event that is the Friday before Labor Day, so right before the, the Cleveland National Air Show, okay. which is a big event. We fill the whole airport with a variety of wineries. Most of them are local, and uh, just have a great time. Sounds like a great place to visit. So it's a lot of fun. All right. We're lucky in Cleveland to be able to fly above the rest of the cities with so many wonderful opportunities. If you want to take off into space, soar down to the International Women's Air and Space Museum. My thanks to Heather for joining us today. Her information is coming up next. Find out more by calling the International Women's Air and Space Museum at 216-623-1111 or click to www.iwasm.org.